Yen can a bontio no no Ayo no 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 Men can only pair more debut. Debut. Aha. Take off me. I never go malibu. Eh. Men chow on trodda. Eh. I never go malibu. Go malibu. Timmy Zore, Nami Farm, Kutu. Welcome to Transfer Business and News with our Dane Crown Prince of Ghana and Apoku Hitsfield. It's a beautiful Monday morning. Sit June. Today is fit or sit? Fit June, right? Hey, what am I saying? Are we in June or May? I mean, you know me, all of a sudden, I didn't have a from Okay, 5th June, yes. 5th June 2023. Man, you see, I am discombobulated from the defeat, from the FA Cup final defeat, man. Manchester United. I was watching the game and I'm like, physically, our players are not even up to the, they can't even match the physicality of the Man City players. Because I was looking at JD Sancho and, and, and Carl Walker in a dual. I was like, this is a boy against a man. You could see Rodri pushing Bruno Fernandez and Cass like it, you could see it. And I'm like, we the game we did well by coming in back in the game with the penalty it was a penalty you know the not the natural silhouette or whatever you guys call it jack Grealish, it was a penalty but then charlie we were outclassed in so many ways and marcus rashford didn't turn up to the party so did jd sancho and i'm still discombob discombobulated about it man charlie Zlatan Ibrahimovic has called time on his beautiful career. Zlatan Ibrahimovic has called time. Now, if you come on the live, please type on the likes, man. Let us get to over a thousand likes today. Today, we'll be talking about Manchester United and the FA Cup final. We'll be talking about Zlatan Ibrahimovic as well. Finally retiring. Actually, Zlatan Ibrahimovic didn't retire from football. It is football that has retired from Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Playing for two rivals, man. Inter and AC. Playing for Juve. Playing for Ajax Amsterdam. Playing for Barcelona. Playing for Manchester United. Playing for um, Paris Saint-Germain. Going back to AC. Winning the Scudetto with them. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is the epitome of greatness. Zlatan Ibrahimovic is just Zlatan, man. Happy retirement to the legend himself. Because I remember in our gaming days, right? Those of you who used to play Pro, Pro Evolution Soccer 8, PES 2008. Now, if you pick Inter and Zlatan is in, in that team, those times, we, even when we pass the center, Kakra, eh, and Zlatan is having the ball, we can push the ball a bit forward. We will load the shot, eh? You see, oh, I know my gamers know this. The FIFA boys. It's been a while since I played FIFA, man, because I'm busy with Pan-Africanism and Ghana and everything that entails with it. And Manchester United, of course. So I don't play a game like I used to. But then I'm a good gamer, man. And we will load the <laughs> we will load the shot, eh? Akaka Krana Pim. 
It's a go. Oh, PS 2008. We'll be playing with Yeye. Yeah, yeah. Oh, Yeye. Yeah, yeah. I miss you, Joe Davis. He, he's a mate of mine. I miss Silvanos Tribiani. We'll go and we'll be playing game, man. <laughs> Charlie. Much love to everybody from Udogono Senior High. It is a great school, man. That school, we need to change the, the, the whole Udogono into a very good curriculum. So Zlatan Ibrahimovic has retired. And when he came to Manchester United, he won the, the community shot with us against Leicester. He won the Carabao Cup, scoring two goals in the final against Southampton. You remember the header under Herrera looping the balls, Latin, you know, 3-2, we won that game. And we went on to win um, the Europa League. Now, we know in that game, of course, he was injured, but then he got injured in the semi-final after helping us a lot. So, much love to Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Let me sing a song. Zlatan Ibrahimovic, he's a Swedish hero on the free from PSG, he calls United zero. I've forgotten the, the lyrics to it, but you know it. You know it. Go go, run it out, man. So I said I'm still recovering from the FA Cup final, man. So if I'm a bit discombobulated today on the show, it's because I am. I got punched. I was, I was being punched. In the game, there was a ball that, there was a long ball that Rodri held the ball up was Marcus Rashford just to and watch him control it back on his chest. And I'm like, in football, right, even if talent-wise, you don't match the team, make sure you win your individual battles. Make sure that ball, even if you know you can't take the ball, contest for it. Contesting for it may throw him off. He might hit him in the head where he doesn't want it. It goes to your player. It is a counter-attack, something. Win your individual battles. But in the game against Man City, we won none. It was like, boy, it was boys against men. I was like, whoa, we have... You could see it. And Eric Ten Hag has done marvelously well with the squad. He has vowed Vegas to bring on Meanwhile, Manchester City kept Riyad Mahrez and Julian Alvarez on the bench. That is the golfing class we are talking about. Man City had Julian Alvarez on the bench. They didn't bring him on, right? They had Riyad Mahrez. Manchester United had to bring on Valde Vegas. That is the, the class we are talking about. And we need to bridge that class this summer. But then we can bridge this class with our current owners. They are not ambitious enough. And then, just when we thought they are leaving, another glazer in the form of Sergio Radcliffe comes and gives them a lifeline. But we want the Sheikh Jassim project. We know what these people can do. Sergio Radcliffe. It's just another glazer in disguise. Another glazer in disguise. That is why he even offered to give the glazer family for them to still be there. It is them, we don't want them at the club. We want owners that will come to this summer and bring in Declan Rice and bring in Moises Caicedo and tell Napoli or Hospice, what do you want for Harry Kane? Give me the prize. I need that player. I need the number nine. I know Manchester United have been uh, after Erasmus Hoyland of Atlanta. I love him. He, he is like the mini Haaland, right? He is left-footed. He is Scandinavian. I think he is Danish and and um, Ellen Haaland is Norwegian, right? So they are both Scandinavians. And I'm looking at, this is Ellen Haaland baby. And if Ellen Haaland baby can give you 25 goals a season, we should take it, right? 
He is somebody who has a good left foot, a powerful left foot at that. He is quick too. He plays in the number nine position. And I'm like, imagine Ellen Highland. Hey, you see? <laughs> imagine Ellen Highland and Erasmus Highland. Manchester Derby, Scandinavians, show what you can do, you know. Or maybe Victor Oshimen. We need to attack it, strike it, number nine this season. We need a revamp in the midfield. Look at Rodri against Fred. It was a no-brainer. He was big guy. All he had to do was put his hands on him. And I'm like, even Gundogan is bigger and stockier than Casimiro. Look at, look at Gundogan. Look at the class. We need Declan Rice in this team. We need Moises Caicedo in this team. We need a Hurricane. We need a Victor Oshime. We need a Hoyland as a backup. Because Julian Alvarez didn't come on in the FA Cup final. Meanwhile, Manchester United were bringing on Vald Vegas, with all due respect to my man. City had a World Cup winner on the bench. Somebody who will likely win a quadruple this season. Wow. Julian Alvarez will probably win a quadruple this season, having won the World Cup with Argentina. He has won. Okay, they've won the what? Um, the FA Cup. They've won the Premier League. And he can win the Champions League on top. What a year it will be for Julian Alvarez. And he doesn't get to come on in the FA Cup final because Ellen Haaland is enough for Manchester United. Meanwhile, Manchester United, we have J.D. Sancho who can't compete against Akanji in any aspect. Not in pace, not in strength. I was very clear when we had a chance to sign Jack Grealish and J.D. Sancho. As a man, I knew we would need Jack Grealish than J.D. Sancho. I made a video of it a long time ago. You can go and check it out on, on our YouTube page, Reunited Life. Please subscribe to our YouTube page, Reunited Life. Go and check old videos of mine. So I knew it. But then we paid 75 for, for somebody who wasn't tested in the Premier League. And that is what we are seeing. Jack Grealish will give you fouls. If Jagrelis is not playing well at all, he will give you possession, he will give you fouls. He will give you assist, he will give you he will give you so many things because he was a leader at Aston Villa already. We could have looked at all these things. But then we wanted the headline transfer. Now Mason Mount was asked about his impending move to Manchester United. At the Grand Prix, right? We have posted it on Reunited Live on Facebook. You can go and check it out and YouTube. Go and check it out. So he 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 actually debunked it, and you know he didn't say anything about it though. He's here to enjoy the the, the race, and that is what matters, man. But then hmm, Mason Mount, I love the fact that we will get Mason Mount. I look because he's mobile. He's mobile. He's good at set pieces. He plays as a number 10. He will score goals. Put Mason Mount in this final instead of Christian Eriksen. And it, it would have been a different game. Because we know Mount will pick up the balls. He will play the one-twos, get into space. I love Mason Mount. I've always loved him. If you are a coach, if you are somebody who knows football, like I know football, every coach will want a player like Mason Mount. Because he will be... He will form the triangles, pick up the balls, play the one-twos, move the team forward. And if you have somebody like that in the number 10 position, mwah. so I know what Eric Ten Hag wants in Mason Mount. And the fact that we are signing Mason Mount very early in this window shows that Eric Ten Hag knows the player he wants. And that is Mason Mount. But then we need a bit of robustness in the midfield. 
We need to get rid of a few players. We've seen them. Scott McTominay, Fred can leave if we can get Declan Rice, Moises Caicedo in the same summer. That is why we need Sheikh Jassim's project. That is why we need Sheikh Jassim's project because they are the only people that can come and do something like this. Give everything hug, Moises Caicedo, Declan Rice, Casimiro, Mason Mount, Bruno Fernandes in midfield, to Hoyland, and maybe even if we can't get Hurricane and Oshiman, Goncalo Ramos and Hoyland, give him something to work with and see how he will compete. He is not far from Pep, Pep Guardiola this season. The number of wins, 43-41 this season. And he has Vald Vegas to work with. He has Anthony Marshall to work with. Without due respect. He has Harry Maguire to come in. When somebody has Laporte and Akanji and Ake sitting on the bench. Sometimes. Ruben Diaz sometimes sits on the bench for five matches. Resting him for Champions League games. Let's give Eric Ten Hag such luxuries to compete against Pep Guardiola. Give him something. So, Sheikh Jassim's project, every good Manchester United fan, not blind ones, of course, every enlightened person will see be between the lines that this is the ownership that we need. So please leave Manchester United hashtag Glazers out. I will always be against the Glazers because they took a club for Kings and made it a club that, that we are now accepting mediocrity as standard. And that is why I love everything hard. He's bringing everything back to Manchester United. Eric Ten Hag, one hug, two hug, three hug. I love Eric Ten Hag, man. He's doing well. He's doing extremely well. So we want to give him the tools to work with. We want to give him a better Old Trafford. We want to give him top players to work with. Physically, strong, gifted, agile, mobile. Give him Joao Felix in the number 10 role. Let him fight with Basin Mount sometimes. And see, Rashford on the left, Harry Kane up front. Or, Rashford on the left, Victor Oshiman Victor up front. Bruno Fernandes Mount operating, and, and Mason Mount operating as number 8. Sometimes Declan Rice, sitting behind them. Casimiro on the bench. Sometimes Casimiro behind them. Declan Rice on the bench. Moises Caicedo coming in to, to hold things up. Matches against Liverpool at Anfield. You can go with a solid midfield. Go with Bruno Fernandes, Declan Rice and Caicedo. It will do a good job. Mercy Mount um, Declan Rice and Casimiro. So there will be so much combinations we can do because Manchester United will be competing for all the trophies in the world. That is Eric Ten Hag's vision. So you need to give him a squad where when he rotates, there won't be a dip in form, right? That is what Pep Guardiola has at Manchester City. He has the luxury to sometimes leave De Bruyne out for like five games. Everybody will be asking, why is he leaving him out? He knows him. He wants, him. He wants De Bruyne to miss football so that when he brings him back, he will, he will give, the assist will flow like, you know, it is man management. Simple as that. Sometimes you see Riyad Mahrez on the bench for like six games straight. Always not even coming on as a sub. Then he comes back on in a game and scores a hat-trick. Scores hat-tricks in rows, and before you realize he's a mainstay, then Gundogan is to the bench. For, that is man management. That is quality and rotation. That is what Eric Ten Hag needs at Manchester United. 
Abba. So today is Monday. The season has ended. And yet, Manchester United fans don't know. Eric Ten Hag don't know who the next owners will be. It has taken the joy out of them leaving. Just like how transfers are at Manchester United, right? Every day, their transfer will lag for a very long time. And it sucks the joy from fans. We need proactive owners. Owners that can match the ambition of the fans. Because Manchester United is supported by kings and queens. The Odin Crown Prince of Ghana is a Manchester United fan. So, and I have so many Prince friends across the world that are Manchester United fans. We need owners that can match that ambition. And I think Sheikh Jassim Althani will be the best candidate to own Manchester United. We hope we can, we can, we can, we as fans can have a say in telling him our ambitions for the club. We want to bring the tag, the biggest club in the world, back. And that comes with winning back the Champions League and the Premier League. All oh, due respect to the Carabao Cup, it is a trophy. But Manchester United is known for winning the Premier League three times in a row. Man City just did it. And they broke our record. It is a record we have already. But are we going to look at them for them to go a quadruple? Premier League trophies? We had a chance to stop them with this treble thing. But then it was boys against men. So now we are putting our faith in the Nazuris, the black and blues of Milan, to do us a favor. Romelu Lukaku, Henrik, hey, Mkhitaryan. Is Mkhitaryan in? Yes, Mkhitaryan is in Inter, right? Or AS Roma. Okay. Henrik Mkhitaryan, Matteo Damien, please do us a favor. Give them a defensive. <laughs> and give, give Manchester City an, Itali an Italian defensive masterclass. We couldn't do it. But Romero Lukaku is physically strong enough, man. You know, Inter, they are physically strong, man. They have people like Barella, who is in the mode of Mason Mount, who will run rings in the midfield. And they have Brozovic, who will, <laughs> who will sweep everything. People think Inter are the Minos, but remember that it is Man City who are the Minos here. Inter are Champions League winners already. It is Man City who are the Minos here. So experience will count. History will count. Passion. Energy will count that day. And we'll be surprised Inter can beat Man City 2-0 and Ellen Haaland won't have a sniff at goal. That is what Italian defense can do to you. So me, I, I, now I'm putting my faith in Inter. But then, man, the, you know Man City are our neighbors, right? And sometimes you can, your, your neighbors can babysit your children for you. So if your neighbors are doing well, sometimes you need to be like, oh, I've heard you say, you know, you need to cheer before. Because even, I think the festivities, when they cook and they are happy, you might get some chicken or, you know, black people, we love chicken, man. We love chicken. So what did you expect me to say? Chicken and pork and stuff. Maybe we will get some, you know. I'm planning on buying a house in Manchester, though. You know, I'm planning on buying a house in Manchester. But our house will be for Reunited Life members. Anytime we go to Manchester, that is where we will stay. And um, we can have fun. So if you are watching me on TikTok, please tap on the like. Follow me. Share my videos. You know, share the Ordain Crown Princess video. Let it get to a wider audience. If we can start making money off TikTok and other places, we will go on a trip to Old Trafford in my house. Let us have fun. A maximum of 20 people on a flight. We go. What do you think? What do you think? I want to share my life with Africans, man. Wow.
<coughs> wow. I was about to get choked on. Choked live. The ginger has entered my semi. Today, you see, I want to cover my face in poop. Manchester United have disgraced me. So I've, I've been indoors looking through telescope and I'm like, where are the crouches? Who wants? Because friends in Sweden don't let me sleep. Man. Charlie, guys, let me leave you. It's been a pleasure having you on Transfer Business and News today. My name is Obunku Menkuma Nanano Chibedi Akupoku. You can simply call me Nanapoku Hitfield. You can simply call me Venom. You can simply call me Boboten. You can call me Nanapoku. You can call me Poku. You can call me Nipoku. You can call me Poke. <laughs> People call me all kinds of things. It's been a pleasure having you. Chichicha. I'm leaving you with power. I'm leaving you with abundance. Bye-bye.